just vanished into thin air. Login. Jerusalem Post Middle East. Baghdad bombing could be the Biden administration's first challenge. The bombing was only four kilometers from the U.S. Embassy compound and occurred in an area where there have been protests over the last year and a half. By Seth J. Franceman. January 21, 2021, 1725. The site of a twin suicide bombing attack in a central market is seen in Baghdad. Photo credit, Reuters. A twin suicide bombing in Baghdad's Tyern Square, packed with people shopping, left two dozen dead on Thursday afternoon in the most deadly attack in more than 18 months, local reports said, recalling past years when suicide bombings like this were routine in Iraq. Islamic State perpetrated many attacks, and while it is not known if this was an ISIS attack, it has its hallmarks. The bombing, four kilometers from the U.S. Embassy compound, occurred in an area which has witnessed several mass protests over the last year and a half. In the fall of 2019 protesters often besieged security forces on al Jamhuria Bridge, not far from the market where the bombings took place. Online video appeared to capture the second of the two reported explosions, in which up to 100 were reported wounded, near the Bab al-Sharqi area of central Baghdad. There have been increasing threats and low-level attacks on convoys that supply the U.S. in Iraq. Last year dozens of attacks with 107mm rockets were fired at the U.S. Embassy compound and at U.S. forces in Iraq. The U.S. has drawn down most of its troops, leaving only several thousand personnel, many of whom have been relocated to the autonomous Kurdistan region, which is more sympathetic to the U.S. In other areas of Iraq the pro-Iranian militias of the popular mobilization units run checkpoints and have threatened the U.S. These groups include the Badr organization, Qadib Hezbollah, Asab al al haq and Harakat Hezbollah al najaba the day before the attack in Baghdad there were reports of an attack on a convoy carrying equipment to the U.S.-led anti-ISIS coalition. The attacks carried out by pro-Iranian groups are often precise and use 107mm rockets. ISIS-style attacks use suicide bombers to kill civilians. Pro-Iranian groups are often more tactical and strategic in their killing targeting foreigners or journalists or translators, but not randomly blowing up shoppers. A source told Alain Alakbaria that a suicide bomber wearing an explosive belt blew himself up at Tyern Square in the Bab al-Sharqi area, followed by the detonation of another suicide bomber meters away from the place of the first explosion. It appears the use of two bombers was to draw in people after the first explosion and then target the onlookers. This is also a typical tactic of ISIS-style attacks. The suicide bombing occurred in the same place, which is often crowded with pedestrians in Tyran Square, killing 31 people three years ago, Alain said. The attack could present the Biden administration with one of its first foreign crises. The U.S. left Iraq in 2011, but then returned in 2014, at the invitation of the Iraqi government, to help lead a coalition against ISIS. The U.S. has trained and mentored around 250,000 Iraqi troops with the support of dozens of members of the coalition. These include European countries. The U.S. is also supporting training and equipping of the Kurdish Peshmerga in northern Iraq. When U.S.-Iran tensions rose in 2019 and early 2020, and the U.S. killed Iranian IRGC head Qasem Soleimani in Baghdad, 
many foreign advisors left. The COVID-19 virus has also reduced training. The bombing provides U.S. President Joe Biden with an early opportunity to show U.S. support for Iraq. So I just so you know, my life, uh, as Dr. we're waiting to do this, I just agreed to Dr. Michelle be Walensky, for, uh, she's going to be the director uh, for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and uh, Dr. Marcella Nunez-Smith. So I guess so you know my life uh, as we're waiting to do this, I just agreed to uh, Dr. Michelle Walensky or uh, she's gonna be the director